For nearly two decades, spanning the 50s and 60s, Oswego, New York natives Sam and Nick Virgo each fielded their own race car. They were, among a few other hardy car owners, upon which the weekly Saturday night races at Oswego Speedway were established and grew. Both brothers worked on their cars in the same Virgo Brothers transmission garage on West 2nd Street in Oswego the site of the current Napa Auto Parts store. Most of Virgo Brothers' success in terms of checkered flags came in the early stock car days. It was Nick's yellow and blue number 23 flat top coupe that carried Billy Thomas to a feature win on July 7, 1954, as he became the first native Oswegonian to win a feature since the track's inception in 1951. And it was Nick's 23 on June 18, 1955 that Billy Bloom stole a feature win from Nolan Swift on a last lap fourth turn pass that forced Swift to turn off his lighted 10 pins on the top of his car, switched on when he was heading to victory lane. The crowning achievement in Nick's racing career came in 1958, however, when Billy Bloom drove the Virgo 23 to victory lane in the second annual International Classic. Sam's Virgo cars were always immaculate and painted red and white with the number C47 adorned on the side. For most of the 50s, his driver was Oswego, New York's Bernie Bellinger, and he registered several feature wins and many top five finishes. Irish Jack Murphy also garnered a feature win in the mid-50s with Sam's C47. When the big change from stock cars to super modifieds came in 1962, both brothers stepped up and made the switch. Sam went out and bought one of the top running supers from the Michigan area, and when the 1962 season began, Bernie Bellinger in Sam's new C47 Super Modified was one of the top contenders. Before the 62 season ended, Bellinger had to leave the area with his job, and top driver Billy Bloom took over the controls. In 1963, Sam hired Mineto, New York's Bobby Baker to drive the C47, and Baker qualified second fastest for the International Classic. Baker continued driving the C47 into the mid-60s before being replaced by Oswego native Donnie Stevenson. Nick built his own Super Modified for the 62 campaign and hired Fulton, New York's Ronnie Wallace to wheel it. Ronnie and Nolan Swift were the only two local drivers that qualified for the huge 80-plus car 62 Classic field, and Wallace ended up finishing seventh. Wallace was later succeeded behind the wheel of the Nick 23 by another Fultonian, Bobby Pierce. Nick's influence in supermodified racing is still felt today. In 1967, Nick brought on a young Oswegonian by the name of Jimmy Muldoon to help wrench and drive the 23. Jimmy went on to have a successful supermodified career, which influenced his son Mike Muldoon to carry on the tradition. And now Jimmy's grandson Michael is one of our top young supermodified talents. Congratulations to 2015 Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductees, Nick and Sam Virgo.